In wildness is the preservation of the world. I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life and see if I could not learn what it had to teach and not, when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. The mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation. I wanted to live deep and suck all the marrow of life, to live so sturdily and spartan-like as to put to rout all that was not life, to cut a broad swath and shave close to drive life into a corner and reduce it to its lowest terms. Okay. Uh, so last fall, we, we had an honor seminar where we read Thoreau, we read Walden, uh, and we also built his house, or at least we timber framed his house, uh, just with the tools he could have used. The idea there was to understand exactly what he did when he went out to build, uh, something that's not particularly well understood. He didn't talk about it very much. He talked about being out in the woods. He talked about, you know, talking to people who came by, but he didn't spend much time actually describing the labors that he did. Uh, and so the idea of this seminar was to do a little sort of hands-on learning actually do some material practices uh, and so what we did was got some axes we borrowed some axes we bought some axes uh, and we went out to a farm and we chopped down trees uh, after we chopped them down we squared them up with broad axes and then we used chisels and saws to cut mortise and tenon joints uh, and framed up Thoreau's cabin uh, which I'm standing in front of right now you're excited to come you're excited to make progress What's amazing to me about this kind of work is you can be here for an hour, hour and a half, and you step away and you can point and you say, I did that. Um, a lot of people in their work life don't get that kind of satisfaction. They maybe made a document or they sent some emails or a project lasts six months. Um, here you get to see what you've done. You can point at it. You can feel good about it. Uh, and I think that's why it's a, such a rewarding I mean, everyone here today has had huge smiles on their faces because we're having fun and we're doing something together. And uh, you get to you get to point at the house and say, "I was involved in that." Do it! Do it! Yeah! Injuries. We had lots of injuries. Uh, the first day out, I think everybody ended up with blisters. Uh, fortunately, we had hard hats and, and, and good boots and such, so we didn't really hurt ourselves that way. Uh, only two people had to go to the hospital. One was for an ADS injury in the shin. That required four stitches, I believe. Uh, and the other was a broad axe injury on a shin, and that one was about six stitches. Um, I knocked my fingernail off, dropping a beam on it, uh, and uh, there was actually a fair amount of blood. If you could get the camera up on the top of this building right here, there's a bunch of blood right up on the top, which uh, uh, happened during the house raising. Uh, so yeah, we had injuries, but none serious, uh, and a good time was actually had by all. It's been quite a long journey. I mean, I don't know. I guess we started with actual work back in September, and it's been kind of piece by piece, and I, I wouldn't assume Thoreau did it for this long. But it's nice to finally see kind of a, a finished physical result after a lot of the legwork that we did and a lot of the, the kind of academic background stuff. It's nice to actually be able to come out here, have a lot of people out, and uh, put this thing down. When you build a timber frame house, when you finish the timber frame, we're almost finished. We've got a couple of pegs to take care of and a little bit of extra braces. But what you do is you, you nail a tree that's the same tree that the place is, the thing is built out of. You nail it up in the rafters. And even today, like up in New England, when people tear down these really old barns, they'll get all the way up in the top of the barn and they'll find at the peak of one of the rafters just a, a little bit of a tree, you know, old dried up 200 year old tree nailed. So um, I pulled this one out of my yard today that came off the space right next to where we dropped the beam I happened to be sitting on. So uh, it seems kind of appropriate. Let me see if I can get it up there without dying. Uh, and then he falls and dies. And, 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 and I'm, I'm, I'm also.
also, I'm also bleeding, so I'm going to dedicate the frame with my blood as well as my tree here. You know, I'm sure that fits some pagan ritual of some sort. Do what?